Dostasio in Melbourne, who owns a restaurant in Melbourne, decided that uh, we needed a new pavilion. Our a new pavilion, Australian pavilion. Yeah. In our, Venice. That's right. Our pavilion in Venice is by Philip Cox, but it's the only temporary pavilion that's in Venice, and he decided we needed a new one. So he ran an ideas competition. It was just <clears throat> about ideas. It wasn't about what would actually be a new pavilion. And this one got in the finals. It was done really quickly. So we took the idea of that sort of figure eight. Um, I think it's called figure eight climb water block, but I don't know why. But it is like this double sort of spiral thing, which, is, which you can see in the middle shot is made out of a figure eight that twists. I noticed that Big have done one of these now in, the, uh, in Shanghai, I think. But I didn't, we didn't know about that at the time. But um, yeah, it's just quite sort of nice idea about a about an exhibition space, which we kind of saw it as more sort of an exhibition rather than sort of a gallery, um, about this kind of endless uh, sort of spiral, which we thought was quite nice. It was worked through on digital projects so that we could put a series of sort of parameters through the thing, you know, like specify the heights and the widths um, and, and basically kind of change those parameters as we wanted to sort of alter... Uh, the graduation of the of the slope of the building it was just really for us it was a bit of sort of research and development, yeah. and then thinking about uh, the Venetian experience and the sort of quatrefoil and the sort of sense of light that you get when you're in Venice and thinking that's probably more important about being immersed in Venice than it being something that's kind of Australian. And so we took those and we could make those bigger or smaller in the in the um, parametric model as well. The greatest criticism was from the artists who said, you know, that we can't really use those as gallery spaces. But, you know, it was an ideas competition and our view was that basically all those things could be stretched or some of the quatrefoils could be filled in according to what was required. Yeah, the artists got very upset because they thought this was going to get built. They were, they were actually petrified. We were just trying to calm them down, saying, look, it's just an idea. It's not, you know, don't take it so seriously. Um, that was our Beijing Olympics you and that should be a model it's you know kind of ex yeah we've been possibly difficult to build because it's so distorted and but it seemed to have something in it something about you know some promise I suppose of um, having a system and but allowing that system to have this kind of immense kind of endless variety which you know we think is probably something we'll explore a bit more and it kind of has that, it seems to have that sort of great sort of gothic sense about it or um, also that sense like Gaudi's uh, fantastic crypt where he had each one of those columns as a sort of its own species of tree. This had something of that quality. We did a little exhibition down on the peninsula uh, where one of the guys took that model and tried to turn it into a sort of beach house. Again, parametrically, so you could, the idea was you could come along, give, the, give your topography to them and it just would distort to suit the... Or if you came and said, you know, like, oh, I actually, you know, I've got this budget and I need this many bedrooms, that we could just contort it to whatever to suit. I don't reckon the plan worked, but they reckon it did. 